matter that. Let's go back in time 501 years ago. by the West. In that time, spices were even more valuable than gold. 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 Anyone care for some spices? Long ago, he was rejected by the King of Portugal. So, he went to the King of Spain with his awesome plan. Your Most Royal Highness, I will travel to the Spice Islands by South America or the West, or you may have my head. Those were brave and convincing words indeed, because the King of Spain agreed to fund for the voyage. Join the admiral is uh, an Italian. His name is Antonio Pigapeta. Why do you wish to enter a very hazardous voyage? Because I want to see the wonders of the world. That's you wish to see the wonders of the world? Yes, and I can write. Pigafetta's heart will always be. Loyal to the Admiral. Italian friend, you may join me to the voyage of the world! Follow my lantern. It is because of this Italian that we know everything about this voyage. He wrote everything down. Another person who also joined Magellan's journey is dun 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 the enemy is Taban Gormez Gormez was also a Portuguese he went to the Spain court and the Spain people already said yes until they heard about Magellan's plan they thought it was better so instead of giving it to Gormez they gave it to Magellan For Gormez, so he wanted to talk for Go uh, to Magellan. Urgh! My plans are all ruined because of you, my friend. You will have a place in my expedition. Even though he was made captain of the ship, Gormez still had poison in his heart. One last character worth mentioning is Enrique. He was Magellan's trusted slave. Some people actually believe that Enrique could actually be a Pinoy. How cool is that? When Magellan's crew went to Cebu, Enrique was the one who spoke to the native islanders. Amazing, right? On September 20, 1519, the anchors were lifted. All aboard! This consisted of five ships. The Victoria, Trinidad, the San Antonio, the Santiago, Concepcion. There were 270 men on board that time. From Spain, they crossed the Atlantic to Brazil. There, they discovered beautiful birds and giants. They kept to the coast until they discovered the Strait to the Pacific at the bottom of South America. It is now called the Strait of Magellan. By that time, the enemy Gourmet has traveled all the way back to Spain to tell the king that Magellan has gone mad. Magellan was so happy that he had found 
the Pacific Ocean, but it will be months and months until they will find land. That means hunger and sickness. They sold us and vermin! A lot of them got sick with scurvy, which is a lack of vitamin C. On March 6, 1521, they reached Samar Island in the Philippines. He found the natives there very friendly. They were able to heal the sick and get their strength back. Ma by April, Magellan and his crew arrived in Cebu. Again, they were treated warmly by the king. And he was able to introduce Christ Christianity to them and even able to baptize a small group of them. How cool is that? Everything seemed to be going well until Magellan went to Mactan and met with Lapu Lapu, who refused to honor him as a leader. Are you with me?